those hands are in the middle. And then you can see here the butterfly wall that we like to do to the sun. Again, this sun is having a capacity of 200 meter cube, quality hectares. And there are pumps installed about 4 pounds or 5 pounds of lead in the heat for the, to carry the water to the field. And one sum will cover 80 hectares. So one pump, if there are 4 pumps, will cover 20 hectares. And the, the irrigation interval has been kept at 5 days interval. So many thousand numbers of hectares have been installed in the entire field.
So we can definitely go for this type of model in Sata server project. And different options like scholar or grid energy, this can also be tried. At the sub level, we can put the solar pumps because these are available up to 25 HP now, solar pumps. But there is a question of again cost. Then siltation, the canal water carries silt along with the water. So uh, the siltation unit needs to be put. Like that we have done a project in Himachal Pradesh where we have put the tube settlers and we have done about 150 meters length. It's a big uh, unit that we have installed there. So uh, it, 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 it reduces the capacity level from 5,000 to 500 uh, ppm and uh, removes the silt. But apart from this, even if you remove the seed, there could be fine seed which, which can go along with the water and which may block the papers. So you can use the filtration also. So seeding and filtration, this is a major issue involved in this. And the disposal of seed, there is one more problem. Even if you are able to reduce, remove the seed, where do you dispose, the, dispose of the seed? If the seed is perfect, then the farmers can take it in their fields. But again, the transportation issue will be there. Who will pay the transportation cost? So these are some of the issues. Then land for the local storages to make these sums available. So we have to have at least 1,000 square meter land. So that land should be made available. Initially, there is a reluctance from the farmers to give the land. But once they understand that in their farm, there is going to be a continuous supply of water, they happily give the land. That is our experience. So, in the Shikawa project or in the Imachat project also, or in the Narmada Canal project also. See, the land acquisition proposals we have prepared, but initially there was a reluctance, but thereafter, farmers used to come to us that we will take our land and uh, make the sum in our land. So, that is the situation. Then, acquisition procedures are lengthy. Many times we have prepared a lot of paperwork we have to do. Then the cost involved, who will pay the compensation for the land? Suppose in Punjab or UP or Gujarat, the land costs are very high. So that needs to be considered when preparing the proposals. Then the automation acceptance, this type of big projects cannot run without automation. That is a uh, main uh, problem. And initially, the acceptance of the farmers for automation is not there. So, and even if it is there, it requires a lot of expertise in terms of, you know, installation, uh, procurement of the material, installation of the material, then operation and maintenance, it requires expertise. So, that, uh, that is another issue. Then, material selection issues, in some of the projects we have seen that there are, I mean, I, I should not say this in the open forum, but I am saying there are lobbies for the steel pipes or for the cast iron pipes or for the other types of pipes. But the selector, that is the government, should select the right kind of pipe. That is very important. You can see here the failure of the GRP pipe. So this type of failure should not happen. Then the commercial issues. Now here, up to the farm level, it, 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 it is a responsibility of the government to give the water up to the farm level. You can say like this. And below the farm level, that is within the farm, the farmers should invest. That is, uh, that is the opinion. But again, in Chicago project, the entire investment has been done by the government. In the Himachal project, up to farm level, the government has uh, invested the money. But within the farms, the farmers have invested. They also in CP and RGP, same thing. So, there should be some strategized uh, formula for that. That up to farm level, who will invest and within the farm level, who will invest. There is the availability of funds for currently completion of the projects. Many times the funds are not available uh, within the given time. There is the payment of electricity bill and water charges during the oil and period. We have taken all these projects, including the maintenance, for two years, three years, depending on the tender conditions. So we are going to maintain all these projects. But during this maintenance period, who will pay the electricity and water charges? That is the question mark. Then the other issues like reluctance of farmers to formulate the water user association. Like the project which we have done in Amarati, the farmers have been using the water, water since last 3-4 years. They are getting the benefit. They have got the benefit of one crop, at least traditional crop, every year. 
But they are not ready to accept and take up the steam with them because they fear the steam will fail you. Uh, and secondly, they, they have also the fear that water charges and electricity charges, who will pay? Of course, that is a gravity scheme, so it doesn't attract any electricity charges, but water charges, who will pay? So, all these issues. So, there is a reluctance initially to formulate the water user association, but once uh, it, it is a government, again, government's role is there that they should pursue uh, and they should also uh, participate in the meetings uh, with the farmers to formulate the water user associations. There is a political interference, sometimes it is there uh, in the land acquisition issues or non compensation uh, issues. When we have paid the compensation for the crop, whenever the pipeline is going across the farmer's field, they will object if the crop is standing crop, then we have to pay the compensation. So those issues must be settled. Then attitude of the cooperation of the government officials, this is one more issue. It's too visible. Firstly, it is there sometimes. Then the department scope, MI is normally not included, for item and the delay of the new awareness of the technology. This is also one of the issues. As I told you that 29% or 30% of the uh, area is a canal uh, command area. And regarding the scope available, this is the scope, 15 million hectares or 16 million hectares as per the CWC figures. So 16, 17 million hectares is the scope available. Now how to do this? We want to do the entire, we want to cover the entire area, but how to do this? There are issues and we need to solutions for this. So we have to really work hard on this. And this is of course the potential. I think I have, I have finished. <laughs> Thank you so much.